a spherical water balloon is revolving at 60 rotation per minute in the course of time 48.8% of its water leaks out with what frequency will the remaining balloon revolve now neglect all non conservative forces Now, we get I1 upon I2 is equal to M1 upon M2 into M1 upon 
and we need to the power 2 by 2. So, we get I by 1 by 2 is adding the powers of both M1 upon M2. So, here and here we get 1 plus 2 by 3. So, we get I by M1 upon M2 is 5 by 3. Now, according to the law of conservation of angular momentum, we know I1 omega 1 is equal to I2 omega. But what is omega 1? Omega 1 is 2 pi. And what is omega 2? Omega 2 is 2 pi n. So I1 into 2 pi n1 is equal to I2 into 2 pi n2. Cancelling 2 pi 2 pi from both sides, we get I1 n1 is equal to I2 n2. Now, we want I1 upon I2. So I1 upon I2 is equal to I2 upon n1. But what is I1 upon I2? We have found out M1 upon M2 to the power 5 by 3. So M1 upon M2 to the power 5 by 3. We now we want the value for M1 upon M2. We know that M1 is 100 and M2 is 100 minus 48.8. Therefore, 100 upon 51.2. So we get 1 upon 0 0.0512. Now, M1 upon M2 to the power 1 by 3 is 1 upon 0 0.0512 to the power 1 by 3. Therefore, that is it. the answer of this is 1 upon 0.8 or it is 1.25. So, after the time we have 1 upon M1 upon M2 is a cube root. Half 1.25 we have M1 upon M2 to the power 1 by 3 is equal to 1.25. Now, after the pi jay so we want the frequency of revolution of the balloon after the leaking, after it has leaked to 48.8 percent. So, we know that I will have Thank you. 